so welcome back guys so it is officially wednesday and last week we did make it back home from mustang week and now i just want to jump on here give a little update of everything that's happened and what's going on with the car right now and kind of where i'm at with everything so as many of you know i did run into some issues down there if you was watching my videos if not go check those out from last week they were pretty good i know i didn't film anything friday but honestly as soon as i got there it started raining and i didn't really feel like filming in the rain and whenever I was leaving, I kind of watched already so many pullouts. So there's really just no point in even staying and watching so many. Honestly, Friday, I was kind of getting tired of the Mustang week stuff. I'm not gonna lie. And now that I am home, I'm gonna go over some of those things that has happened. So many of you know that before I left, that my exhaust on the right side of the cat back actually had fell off and I put the clamp back up there, thinking nothing would happen again. But sure enough, while I was down there, after I already made it, and then I was going to the first event Monday. So that means I drove four hours to the beach, and then Sunday I drove around a little bit, and then Monday I was going to the kickoff party at the mall, which was 40 minutes from where I was staying, and my exhaust had fell off again. So honestly, I was really fed up at that point because I didn't understand why it kept falling off, because the exhaust has been on the car for maybe near six, to eight months, I don't know exactly. Nothing's ever happened. I've beaten the crap out of this thing with the exhaust on, and then just randomly it just decides to fall off. And a lot of people were saying it was my clamps, that maybe I had the wrong clamps, like from the mid pike side and then the actual over the axle side. I don't really think I would have put the wrong clamp on. I mean, it is a possibility, but at that point I was down there, I had to get all on, buy some tools, and then I had to take off the other cat back because I thought I was going to be able to just run it over the axle and then dump it but it was actually heating up my sway bar and the plastic around the gas tank too much so I didn't even feel safe doing that. I ended up taking it to Monarchy and then I ended up getting my exhaust actually welded together that it stayed on that time and the dude whenever he got down there he was like saying it's a good thing that I actually got it welded because everything was like scolding hot whenever he was touching it so and that was only from a 10 to 15 minute drive from the house to the shop. So there's no way I would actually be able to drive from the beach to four hours back to where I live. That's a good thing I did end up getting that done. Also, I did just figure out on the way back home that my fog light, I think it's my driver's side, but my fog light is out. Not that that's a big issue, but it's just something else on top of everything else. Another thing was just that uh, you guys know that I just had got a brand new clutch put in right before I left and I was trying to do the brake in. And then whenever I got down to the beach, uh, I guess I had officially gotten the break-in miles done. So obviously whenever I was down there, it was needing a little bit of adjusting after the break-in. And I was trying to figure that out. I had a really bad squeaking noise whenever I gave it just a little bit of pressure. So I was just kind of figuring it out because I did do a lot of stuff to limit maybe a throw-out bearing issue. So obviously I was kind of like, I mean, I just put a new exhaust, spent a bunch of money, and then something's still happening. I ended up texting the guy that put the clutch in because he was also down there. He was even saying he'd be more than happy to come and help. But I was trying to get the adjustment issue done and I did make it a lot better for the time being down there. But I wasn't really that worried about it at the time. I was just really trying to get to the shows and then trying to get back home. That was my main concern. But on the way back home, I did run into another issue about two hours out from the house. So if I hop in the car and then if I press clutch pedal in I get this weird clicking sound it almost sounds like it's clutch cable getting hung somewhere so I guess I'm gonna try to get on the car and see if I can figure out what the issue was but overall I think it was a pretty successful trip and I am honestly surprised by this car of how good it did do being that there wasn't anything major that went wrong which I'm very happy because I know there's a lot of people posting in the Facebook group of the Mustang week and a lot of people did have a lot of unfortunate things that happened. I know there was somebody that did end up absolutely totally their car. They got hit by a drunk driver with him and his son in it. And I actually passed that on the way home Friday night, but it was like a Jeep that was flipped over. I know somebody said they cracked a block and 
lot of people just talking about like dents and little bump ups. And so I am very fortunate that it was only an exhaust, the fog light and the clutch. Right now I do need to, I guess, jack up the car, just see if the clutch cable is getting caught anywhere because I've looked at the pedal and everything and I don't see anything wrong with that. So I guess right now I'm just gonna jack up the car and I guess look and see if the clutch cable is getting caught anywhere. If not, I guess I'm gonna have to dive into it a little bit deeper another time. I'm not really trying to get deep into it. I'm just trying to see if it's a simple fix right now. So I guess let's go ahead and jack the car up and see what's wrong. gonna be it for today i do appreciate all you guys watching you guys have been killing it the last like month or so and i promise i do need to be making more videos a lot more hopefully getting all this stuff figured out it's piqued my interest a little bit more and i know i was kind of on the fence of selling this car after mustang week and all the stuff that happened just because it's been a lot of stuff recently go ahead and check out some other videos from mustang week and everything if you missed some of those and watched some of the other stuff that I've posted recently. And other than that, make sure to subscribe. I'm hoping to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I've only got a few more months left and I know I need to be posting more to be able to get to that point. But make sure you like, comment down below, and I guess I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>